Let us be in silence, let each of us in our hearts reflect over this past week and this past while, and let us, uh, if there's anything that we've said or thought or done of which we're not proud, let us in silence confess that. And also, if God has been challenging us to some new, um, some new obedience, some new uh, work for justice, some new work for peace, uh, some new work for those that can't yet uh, speak for themselves, let us pray that the God who gives us the call will also give us <clears throat> the courage, uh, the courage that we need to act. So let us be in silence. Oh, thank you, God, that you always hear our prayers. Thank you that you hear the ones that we say with our mouths and the ones that we say with our hearts. We pray that you would uh, answer them in your way and in your time, and we ask all things uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Would you stand, please, for the words of assurance? These are words that we may trust. The, The psalmist says, as far as the east is from the west, that's how far God casts our sins from us. And the Lord Jesus says, for God so loved the world that he gave his son that whoever believes would not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the son into the world not to condemn the world, not to condemn anyone, but that all the world might be saved. This is the great good news of the gospel. We're forgiven people. We're given God, the Holy Spirit, God on the inside for a fresh start, a clean start, today and every single day of our lives. Amen. Amen.